start out with, I had some PVC pipe. <clears throat> this was all taken out of uh, a factory, and they had just took it out, cut it up, and was throwing it away, so I got all of that I could. I took it and cut it in uh, four foot sections, and then I took it on the saw and sawed it in half. I didn't do any measuring, I kind of guessed it, so I know it's not going to be perfect. Next thing that I'm doing is drilling some holes. I'm going to take all these and I'm going to mark the holes so that they'll be as close as I can get them together. See, I drilled that one twice because it messed up. I had too close to the edge. But I'll mark the rest of them. Now that I have some of them marked, I don't know if you can see the mark on here or not, but I will start drilling all these and when I'm done drilling, I'll show the next part. Now we've got all our holes drilled down through here. We'll take our bicycle rim and starting at the hole that's already in it, we come around we find that there are 36 spokes. So that means I can evenly put 3, 4, 6, 9, 12 of these PVC pipes or half pipes around here without having to do a whole lot of measuring. All I have to do is measure the center between two spokes. So what I will do is I'll put nine, I have ten pieces, and I'll use nine of them and that comes out to being four. So I'll go one, and one, two, three, four, and that'll be my next hole. And every fourth run around I'll put a hole got my holes drilled all the way around here you see here I didn't use the old hole or I'm not going to use the old hole that the hose came out through the reason I'm not going to use it is it's bigger than I wanted so I just drilled another hole beside it and then went every fourth one around now we've got the next one drilled this is the back rim so it gives us the option of using the chain or we can run a belt through here either way we'll see which one works which one we can do when I get there I got some bolts with the square underneath the head and around the top I decided to go ahead and drill all the way through my PVC out the other side so I could run the bolt all the way through and have two points of contact instead of one to be less likely to break or last a little longer I hope and I've already got this together well I found me a couple of bars to put under here and I drilled a hole for the axle to sit through I did the same thing at the top and took the bar and I had to flatten it out because it was curved. Made me a stand. Back up some. All the wood came out of a factory that they were basically throwing away or burning. <clears throat> and we got it for free. They just gave it to us. Except for the two befores uh, on the sides, I actually took two uh, two befores, ten foot long, and cut those. So that was a little cost there. I had to buy those bolts at Lowe's, so that's about eight dollars on those. Now we'll wait for some wind and see how it turns. Kind of wish I had some uh, bigger PVC pipe, like three inch or. A four inch it would have caught a lot more air we'll see how it goes from here